It is a momentous day. Momentous. A truly momentous day. There she is. Can I call Prison Architect her? I, I think that would be appropriate at this point. Look at her there. There she is. Prison Architect, Xbox One edition. Woohoo! Live Xbox One game preview. Should we run it? Yeah. I'm running it, mate. You're recording from your Xbox. Yeah, this is actually an Xbox now. I figured out how to do it. Through the this majesty is... of uh, an Elgato capture device. Wow. I'm now recording straight video from my Xbox. Look, there we are, double eleven introversion software. <laughs> this game saves data automatically. Please do not turn the system off while the auto save icon is displayed. Welcome to Prison Architect. For this game is complete. Playing this game may damage your health. Do not play this game while operating machinery. Do not drink while playing this game. You may die if you play this game. We <laughs> indemnify ourselves against all risk while playing this game. <laughs> it looks so good. That's their artist. That's Gamita. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. I has, oh, okay. What's happening here? Oh, no. I've, I've pressed some sort of Microsoft button. Oh, no. I don't really do Xbox. Yeah, I know. There it is, man. There it is. It's uh, it's very cool, isn't it? I mean, we've we we actually spent like an hour looking at this build just recently, didn't we, with Gaz from yes, from, did, from Double did. Eleven. So I don't think we need to actually play the game any further no. in this video. Um, perhaps we should look at it on the store just for fun. Yeah, what let's do, do that. I mean, all, all of you guys out there that haven't seen the uh, the playthrough, you should check it out. It's Mark and Chris and Gaz. Why did I just describe myself in the third person? Yeah, it's just it's an occupational hazard, I'm afraid. Mate, I'm losing it, mate. When We're you... on the consoles, and I'm thinking I'm some I'm fucking Jay Z or something. <laughs> you are now listening to the best game developers in the world. <laughs> yeah, yeah. live on title. <laughs> live on title. <laughs> oh no! What the biggest no, game the developer days. since Jesus Christ, man! That's the old days. That's the old days, mate. We've got to be on title. We've got to be on title. I don't, I think, I don't think. I don't think title does games, mate. No, no. Well, I don't think they do music, really. They're being sued, aren't they, for non payment royalties? <laughs> I think that's clear. really. Is that true? Yeah, 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 yeah. They're yeah, just, they're just, yeah. they're just having a music service just now, just operating exactly like every other music service, despite the fact yeah. that it's run by musicians. Yeah, exactly. Well, it's not run by musicians, is it? It's run by businessmen, right? With musicians, who, who are musicians? That get up on the stage. It's run by like Jay Z, isn't it? And it's, no, it isn't. And it's run by like what's he called? No, Kanye West, West and all it's that. It's run by a suit in the background. Is Jay Z and Kanye West and all the rest of them. They're just they're just dudes on stage, right? You reckon Jay Z got got out and got his C plus plus out? <laughs> is that what you're telling oh, me? I it's don't. I, by I, musicians. I, perhaps he didn't program the the. The, the code behind the system, but I, I think that it's, I think it's, I was under the impression that it was their initiative. Isn't, that's what like, Jay-Z does these days, isn't it? He doesn't, he, he doesn't really do like recording do you anymore. There was, do you reckon there was a big like music industry like meeting where they went, right, Coldplay, you lot are doing the graphics. <laughs> Coldplay. Right, you, Coldplay, Chris Martin, mate, how's the, how's the icons coming along? Where are the icons, Chris? Where are the fucking icons? <laughs> right, Jay-Z, how are you... <laughs> How are you like, getting on with the uh, HTTPS <laughs> secure backend there, mate? <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, man. Oh, not so great. Yeah, so there we go. So what I was trying to say before we, t we spoke about that was that um, everybody should go and have a look. Well, not everybody, but if you're interested, go and have a look at the, uh, the console playthrough because it is quite a different game. Yeah. And here it is. It, it's, you know, we started it. This wasn't a long project. You know, we only sort of conceived the, the idea of um, reaching out to... Uh, a console partner, like the back end of, of or the, the front of last year, yeah. to kind of early 2015. And, you know, obviously there's a, a few contractual machinations that goes through and, and mm. Double Eleven, we've said it so many times, have done such a spectacular job um, of making this game uh, just look and play wonderfully on the, on the consoles. But it's moments like this, you know, for me, I don't know whether it's just something about my personality, but I kind of live in a in a bit of a dream world, yeah. you know, as you might have noticed. <laughs> I've like, known that for a long time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so like, I do a contract with somebody, and I kind of read all the clauses that say, you know, they're reasonably, you know, they're, they're um, obliged to use best commercial efforts to affect the launch or whatever. And you go, yeah, yeah, we need that in there. Not thinking that one day, actually, a switch is flicked, yeah. and. You know, it starts in New Zealand. I don't know if you know that. Microsoft run this stuff out at midnight. You <laughs> That's know, right. It follows time. the sun so, round, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, so <laughs> at, and, uh, at midnight yesterday or whatever, who the hell knows what day it is in New Zealand, international date lines. It's probably like fucking 2050 over there. They've got flying cars and all sorts. I understand <laughs> it. But, you know, midnight, 
they, the people were able to play Prison Architect. Yeah, and, yeah. You know, there is so, something magic, isn't there, about when it appears on a new service, even even when it's Steam and it's your own game. But but you know, when it's, I mean, I guess part of it is that we still have like, I mean, it was a very fast project, right? Like as you were alluding to, especially when compared to our previous Xbox experience. Yeah. You know that from from signing the contract and handing over the code base to seeing the build up on Xbox One. It has been pretty damn quick, I think. Yeah, and and also how good it is. You know, if you yeah. if you you know if I think about what our port would have looked like, it just would have been, it would have been nowhere near this. Yeah, absolutely, you know? absolutely. They've done, a, they've done a really stunning job. Yeah, I, I, they're the AMG of the games. <laughs> AMG, that's a good one. Double Eleven is to introversion what AMG is to Mercedes. Nice, I like it. I like it. Supercharged version. So I, one thing I didn't realize as well is that um, you can get trial versions of all games on Xbox One. Did you know uh-huh. that? I did not right. know that. Yes, I think it's some sort of time-limited trial or it's like a function and time-limited trial. Yeah. Um, and, I, and so anybody that wants to give it a try, it has an Xbox One, can just fire it up, try the game out on Xbox One, marvel at the user interface and the buttery smooth 60 frames per second, mm-hmm. and then buy it. So it's important to remember, of course, that whilst we're... Very, very excited that we are live today on Xbox Game Preview. We will, of course, also be available on Xbox 360 and PlayStation 4. Woohoo! I want to make that point. Yeah. Because um, PlayStation don't have a game preview. Mm. Do PlayStation have a game preview? I don't think they do. It's a crying shame. Yeah, yeah. They need to well, have that. I think there's a, place for, there's a place for game preview or early access, I think, in the modern world. Yes, I think there is. I think I think there absolutely is, and uh, maybe they'll come around to that. But um, we don't want to uh, ignore Sony customers. Mm. It's just that, and and what I think everyone needs to be aware, of course, is that a lot of the um, the, the bug fixes and tweaks and feature requests and things that uh, come in from the Xbox uh, game preview will go across into the um, into the Sony version as well. Absolutely. So can it's I, kind of. Well, can I ask a, um, a related question that many many people ask us on a daily basis via social media? Yes, of course you can. Where's the iPad version, mate? Ah, yes. In fact, yes. where's the tablet version? The tablet version, yes. Now, we're still working on the tablet version. Yay. As you know. As you know and we are uh, in negotiations mm. surrounding it. Now, one or two things will happen. The negotiations will be successful, and uh, then we'll be talking about the negotiations. Or the negotiations will be unsuccessful, and uh, the tablet version will come to market in a slightly different route. Mm. But, so, I, but either way, the tablet version, Android and iPad, will be coming. Oh, it absolutely will be coming. Mm. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. It will. It will be coming. It will be coming. Right. I think that we should um, move away from the Xbox now. And I think yes. that we should move to the PC. Exciting, exciting update four updates. Let's do it. Yes, well, fresh on the heels of um, just looking at that lovely Xbox stuff, yeah. shall we look at some new features in the PC version? Let's do exactly that. Let's do exactly that. All right, let's start with some community-based stuff, I think. Okay, okay. So um, I'm going to go to the extras menu, and in the extras menu, this is a developer build, so there's a few things here that aren't always there for other people. In the extras menu, you might notice a new item, most popular prisons on Ooh. Steam. Okay, right. okay. So what this is, this is like the Steam Workshop page that shows you the current top-rated prisons. Right. Except it's now built into the game. It's yeah. like a much, it's a quick shortcut, you know? If you, do, if nice. you can't be bothered finding your way, you can see the current uh, most popular prisons in the last week, right? And you can change the setting to say, oh, right, what about the last six months, right? Here's the uh, last six months' worth of most popular prisons. Very, very cool, cool. right? And you can just cool. click on play straight away. And it includes escape mode prisons as well. You can say all-time favorite prisons. So this is the all-time most popular prison. The turtle. I think it's because it. I think that one got in early. Yeah. It's one maybe. of those power curve systems for the for the all-time favorite. You know where because it got in early, that's the one everyone looks at. Yeah. It's cool though, don't you think? It's I very very one. cool. Very I very. I love cool. looking at people's prisons. Yeah, I um, do as well. So. That's kind of for Steam users only, obviously, because it's built on the Steam Workshop. Yeah. Um, but we do have non-Steam players. Yes, we do. We have people who don't have the Steam Workshop. And so we've decided to throw a little bit of love in their direction too. Aww. Yeah. Big-hearted yeah. developers. So if you go to extras and go to pre-made prisons, now we've got a set of 10 pre-made prisons. Right. And you might recognize these because these are the same 10 pre-made prisons 
that our friends at Double Eleven packaged up with yeah, the Xbox yeah. build. So they're kind of 10 very, very good representative prisons, sure enough how epic Prison Architect can be. Yeah. Um, and these are packaged, they're packaged with the Steam version, but obviously you have the workshop on Steam anyway. Yeah, yeah. But they're also packaged with the non-Steam version. And That's I think, really cool. I guess, you know, if you know, if you're playing PA on a plane or something like that and yeah. you know, you've got bored of what you're doing, you, you know, you've got a bit of content kind of bundled in it. Absolutely. And I think it's nice to see uh, some an, a, something like this so you can get the sense of the scale of what you can do without having to necessarily have an internet connection or have a Steam Workshop connection. Well, I, I also think it's it's cool to tinker. Yeah. You know, to, to load up something like this, because not everyone, how many hours has is, is gone into making this prison? 34 hours. Wait, like 34 hours. You know, that, not everyone's got 34 hours to, you know, mm. spend, but they want to be able to tinker. Yeah. You know, yeah. what happens if you if you turn all this max sec, or what happens if you do this, or, yeah, you know. Yeah. And also, you know, Absolutely. kind of destruction mode. Let's make these fuckers riot. You know? They want to be able to look at all the different settings as well. Like, how have you laid this prison out? Like, why have you yeah. done it this way? And why have you done it that way? You know? Yeah, yeah, exactly. You know, they might be oh, hitting issues God. in smaller prisons and then, you know, look at this and go, ah, ha. Oh, oh, wires mode. Wires, look at the wires. Your favourite mode. I love the wires. You love wires mode, don't you? I do love wires mode. <laughs> Fucking wires mode. <laughs> there then. <laughs> yeah, I think it's worth mentioning as well that this is part of what's motivated us to do this is actually for the tablet version as well. Obviously, yeah. the tablet yeah. version won't have a Steam Workshop, um, so we thought packaging up some prisons would be a nice thing to do for those dudes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, um, let's move on, shall we? Let's. Um, let's go to a new prison. Now, we're going to see now something that you may recognise. Right? You may recognise this from a certain company that is doing a console version of the game. Ah. Look at this button down here. Quick build. Oh, yes. All right, now, we got yes. when, when we shared the Xbox version uh, about a month ago for the first time, we were just had a deluge of comments of people saying, can you bring that quick build menu over at the can PC version? <laughs> In fact, some people went further and said, can you bring the whole goddamn interface over? So yeah. obviously we won't be doing that because, no. uh, you know, you don't have a joypad, you have a mouse and keyboard. Yeah, yeah. But the quick build menu, I think we can all agree, was a bloody good idea. It was a good idea. Well done, Gaz. Um, yeah, well done. Uh, and so in much the same way, we can quickly stamp down. So, I don't know, I always build office blocks first. So Yeah, yeah. We can very quickly say, I'll have an office block. And if you want to have um, a cell block, for example, we could do a bunch of cells like this. Yeah. Uh, you can rotate as well, just like you can on the Xbox version. Um, it's just a lovely feature, and there's no point denying that uh, um, we should have put it in ages ago. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think that's the honest truth. Well, yeah. you know, it's diversity, isn't it? It's yeah. diversity. Yeah, it's absolutely. what happens when you, you know, we're quite a tight pyramid with you at the top <laughs> and me above you. Right. You're you like know. the eye floating yeah. above the, the yeah. Masonic pyramid. I am. I am. And you're, you're in a little room at the top of the pyramid. Yeah. And then underneath you, Gary and Leander and Johnny. Yeah. And we're a double eleven in this pyramid. They're in the Sphinx next to us or something. Yeah, they're the Sphinx <laughs> next to us, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, anyway, they're very, very interface focused. And I think the quick build menu was an obvious thing to them. And I found whenever I'm testing the Xbox version, I'm using the quick build menu all the time. So um, I think that's a pretty clear sign. Thank you, double eleven. Thanks, double eleven. Thank you. Yeah, we'll see what right. else we can nick next right. time. Um, a small next. change to that is that the clone feature. The, the, this used to be clone on the toolbar, right? okay. so it's now expanded and clone is now in this menu because it's kind of related in the sense that it's a way to quickly build things that are yeah, based yeah, on a pattern. Okay. Um, and so clone is now a free thing. In, in, previously you had to unlock clone in right. under maintenance. It never really made any sense to be asked. Like, why would you have to unlock the clone facility? Because you know? it's not a thing, right? It's not a thing that exists in the world. So why no, would you have to unlock right. it? Yeah. Uh, all right. Um, that's that. Cool. Let's cool. move on. Uh, isn't it really cool? You know, this is our update four now. We're still showing new shit. You know. Yeah, I know. Man. We're unstoppable. It. Forty updates. You know. Um, right. We've got a new system. The beginnings of something new and wonderful. Right. We now have a simulation of thermodynamics. Thermodynamics. <laughs> Otherwise known as... Uh, weather. Weather. <laughs> weather. <laughs> I like thermodynamics more. Yeah, um, thermodynamics is much better. So, um, let's see. 
So I've loaded up a prison, and we go to logistics, and there's now a new button called temperature. Right, yeah. There you go, there's another word for it. Right? Okay. So at yeah. the moment, it's daytime, and um, it's, it tells me up here in very small text, which we've already changed, yeah. that it's 20 degrees centigrade or 68 degrees Fahrenheit outside, okay. right? because it's 5 o'clock p.m., which is all lovely, right? Yeah. We can all yeah. agree that that's nice. But you may have noticed already some red patches appearing I did, I in our did. thermodynamics map. And I also they, noticed they're from the kitchen, which seemed to make sense to me. It does, doesn't it? So now, when the kitchen's in action, cooking away, um, that obviously injects a lot of heat into that <laughs> that's room. That's brilliant. Right? And, um, oh, that's the wrong screen. Logistics, temperature. That cooks that room up. So now this room is now at 36 degrees centigrade. Oh, right? Almost 100 degrees Fahrenheit. If you can't stand the heat. Yeah. So this will have a this will have an effect on your prisoner's behaviour. Um, if they are in a room that is too hot for a long time, they get a status effect. There's no one in there right now, but they get a status effect on them, which is like I'm getting too hot. I'm overheating. And yeah, it makes okay. them more and more angry and more and more irritable. Um, okay. And so if you plonk them in there for a long time, without, and if they're in there like for four hours or something, yeah, then um, you might get some trouble causing it uh, starting to happen. Um, so that's one side of it. The other Ooh. side of it, if we accelerate time... Um, so what are the sources of heat at the moment then? At just, the moment, just kitchens? Yeah, uh, cookers in the kitchen and power stations and water pumps. Now, these ones are outdoors though, so it doesn't have any effect. Okay. So the way the simulation works is outdoors is always at the prevailing temperature, the yeah. ambient temperature of the world. So you can see that as it's getting later at night, the ambient temperature of the world is decreasing. Right, uh, right. And our world map is turning blue. Uh, yeah, yeah. As the world cools down, and pretty sure you're staying inside the buildings a bit. Yeah. But look at that by the by the walls. It's getting colder. Yeah. This is a nice simulation, isn't it? So so that you 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 notice correctly that the cells that are nearest the edge of their prison block yeah, get yeah. colder. The I love that, man. I love it. People are going to want to be in the middle of the. Uh... Yeah. So the, these ones here, these are the warmest of them all because they're in the middle, you know, and the heat's gradually bleeding out. Um, when you start when you start off with a new prison, can you select the climate? No, you can't do that yet. Um, we should put that in. You, well, you, you know, we should be able to have desert mode where it's very hot and arid. Or, yes, well, I think uh, that's a lovely idea. And I think that, I think that this, this temperature thermodynamics model has a lot of future possibilities, you know, mm -hmm. that, but, you know one step at a time. We don't, we're not really modelling weather at the moment. You know, we're not really modelling ice and snow and scorching hot days or anything. There yeah. is a prevailing temperature each day, which is like a sine curve, you know. So in the middle of the night, it's, it's coldest. And so if I skip forward, so you can see it's dropped down to now 6 degrees centigrade outside, 44 degrees Fahrenheit. Wow. And so our inmates are all asleep, but you can see it's very, very cold now. Yeah. Now, the, there's still a lot of latent heat in this particular area because the kitchen cooked the place up so much. So this canteen is still pretty warm. Okay, um, yeah. But it'll all bleed away gradually. Um, yeah. And yeah, look at that. Look at that. That's really good. What time is it now? It's 3 in the morning. Yeah. And those bottom cell blocks are basically the same as outside. Yeah, they pretty much are. It's freezing. So this guy, yeah. whoever's in this cell, has got a cell that's at 7 degrees centigrade. Oh, dear. <laughs> All right. So to coincide with this, your prisoners now have a new need. Uh, so if we go to the needs chart down at the bottom, um, you'll see uh, nothing, nothing. Yes. Uh, right. <laughs> nothing, nothing. <laughs> that, that is because <laughs> that is because this is a developer build, and these are the baby sleep and baby play needs that are normally okay. hidden because it's a male only prison. But right, they show okay. up in the developer build. But you'll also see the warmth need. Um, so all prisoners now have a warmth need, um, and if they and that need is uh, obviously charges when they're freezing cold. So if they're, if, it's, if they're in their cells overnight and they're freezing cold, or if the prison itself is freezing cold, they'll get more and more, that need will get more and more urgent. Um, and that ultimately contributes to the overall how many prisoners feel happy and how many prisoners are unhappy and all that kind of thing, right? What about kind of uh, medical impacts? Do, the, do prisoners freeze to death? They can't freeze to death yet because... Um, the ambient temperature of the world never really goes below four or five degrees centigrade at the moment. Right, okay. We've modeled the yeah, sine curve, okay. but we haven't modeled extremes of weather yet. Um, yeah, okay. But we're going to get to yeah. that, okay? We're going to yeah. get to that, because that's obviously where we're going, right? Because that, that, there's very interesting possibilities there of if your prison is not sufficiently kept warm and it's a very, very cold uh, winter, then you're going to have a lot of issues. Yeah. Um, I should mention the reason why the, there's no prisoners showing up with warmth is that 
none of your existing prisoners have the warmth need because these are previous generation prisoners, right? Okay. It's a little okay. bit... It's a, these are the, update three prisoners. They're update three prisoners and they don't have a warmth need, but all subsequent prisoners brought in through intake will have a warmth need and right. they'll gradually replace the ones that don't. So you have a little bit of a grace period. So even though my prison is freezing cold at the moment, nothing bad's going to happen. Because we felt yeah, it was okay. a little bit unfair that you would load up your otherwise fully functioning prison yeah, and suddenly and all die. your prisoners will Riot. be freezing and dying and, and rioting because it's so cold. Yeah. You know? So we thought we'll give you a bit of a time to do something about it. Do we um, get any heat bleed from um, uh, the pipes? No, the nothing like pipes. that currently because the water pipes are only cold water pipes, aren't they? Right, they're just cold okay. water. Um, but that's another potential area that we might look at in the future, worrying about a hot yeah, water okay. pipe supply. So, what can we do about it? That's what was my next question was going to be, what can you do? Yes, well, you can go to objects and you can build a radiator. Yes. Here we go. Radiators. So, let's plunk one down. We'll have one here, say. And um, we'll put one here. And we'll get our workmen to come and build. So, it's morning time now. It's 5 a.m., 7 degrees centigrade. Waking up after a cold night's sleep. Yeah. Come on, workman. Cracking the ice in their Hurry basins up. for a shave. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, you know what we need? We need that feature that they put in the console version, which is um, show me where the workman is that's doing this job. Yeah. There we go. There's our radiator installed. Yep. And if we go to logistics temperature now, we'll see that that radiator begins to emit heat. Nice. Slowly over time, right? And we'll Does it slowly... need... Uh... Water, does it need No, it doesn't need water? connecting at the moment because the way I see it is that radiators need connecting to a hot water supply. Right? Yeah. But we don't really have a concept of a hot water supply in the game at the moment. So I right. toyed with the idea of having it that you connected it up to the water pipes, but it just doesn't really make any sense, you know? Yeah, okay. And then you realise that, well, so, you do have showers and they're hot water. So, you know, our water, yeah. our water model currently doesn't really have a place for radiators as such. Do they need electricity? No, they don't. They're, they are they are pipe-based radiators. Okay. Um, they're just not connected up to anything yet. Okay. Makes sense? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you're it's treading good. into future update territory now. Yeah, I think so. I think it, it, it feels as if they they need some sort of logistical tail yeah. to them. Well, I think... You know, well, I'll just tell you. I think that we need um, a hot boiler. water system. I think that we need boiler, to have yeah. a boiler yeah. and that gives you hot water and then your showers and your... Um, radiators connect to that but we'll see who knows what the update demon I like will bring that. us i like that a lot so so you're gonna have a boiler connected to your uh, electricity supply with yes. a whole separate pipe system that's right and, and it'll you... be very power intensive i imagine to boil water yeah. sufficiently and you've yeah. got if you've got a big prison your your hot water ah, pipes will, will bleed heat all over the place you know so it's another it's another layer of logistics that you're gonna have to think about well and you're gonna have to you are you charged for electricity of course yeah, yeah, exactly. So you're going to have to pay for it. Cool. And the boiler's going to explode on cold days. Yeah. And you're going to get riots. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. So you like can it. see that I those like radiators it. actually do a pretty good job of heating up those cell blocks, right? The ambient temperature's yeah. coming up now anyway. But you can, there's a clear difference there. So I, I didn't yeah. want it to be like you had to put one every four squares or anything silly like that, you know? One little radiator is enough for that relatively small cell block. Yeah, yeah. But, the, you know, there are tricks that you can do whereby you can make use of natural heat generators. Um, so I mean, let me see if I actually haven't prepared this part at all, so this might take me a while. We're going off grid, people. We're going Hold off grid. Let me see if I can find a good prison to load. Going off piste. Maybe, maybe one of the, maybe one of the uh, pre-made prisons. Wow, that would be good. Yeah. Right, so here's a good example. So yeah. This is one of the pre-made prisons. So they've got a kitchen right in the middle. Right, so just naturally, the uh, canteen is always going to be quite nice and warm. You see the heat generating from the kitchen yeah. bleeding yeah. outwards into the surrounding area. It's a nice model, isn't it? But they've also yeah, got a power nice. supply inside over here. And another one um, down here. And so they are also going to be heating up the surrounding area and right. bleeding heat into the surrounding area. So these cells around here are getting the natural warmth effect of having a power station right next to them. Okay. So we, we've got another, we're moving toward another fact that you can have an environmental impact. Yeah, absolutely. Impact your, I got a it's, nest. Another, it's another consideration, isn't it? When you're building your prison, you can, you're now going to have to consider thermodynamics, right? Because yeah, as soon yeah. as you go into an outdoor area, all the heat is lost. You know, the, the heat that you generate never transfers through an outdoor area. 
Yeah, yeah. right, right. It gets lost completely. Yeah. I bought a, um, a Nest thermostat. Right. <laughs> because I just, you know, you know me. I like the Internet of Things. and Yeah. I like the idea that hackers can take control of my uh, Yeah, my I was just about house. to say, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hack into <laughs> your Nest thermostat and I'm yeah, going to make exactly. sure that it's, and, it's the wrong number at all times. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. I think they look great. But um, when you turn your heating down, you get a little leaf. Right. You know, that's Google's attempt to save the world. Oh, I see. You know? So it's saying that maybe you don't want to have your house permanently heated all day long. Yeah, you get a little leaf and when it means you're, like, you're, the you're, you know, you're, saving, you're saving some long toenailed sloths <laughs> by being cold. <laughs> you know? Nice. It's giving you that immediate feedback, you know. Yeah. A, a, another penguin has survived for a few extra hours <laughs> just because you're, you've put on another layer. Yeah, the polar, bears are, you know? the polar bears are safe for today because of your sacrifice. But obviously we can't use a leaf, but we could use something else in the uh, prison architect. <laughs> Pandas. Get a panda. Well, so you're saying that there should be you should get some sort of environmental reward. Or protest, well, I'm, I'm, you know, like I'm, the, I'm like the, of... maybe the warden should, should maybe it should be one of those things where the, the governor phones you up and says, uh, you know, your your prison is using more energy than the entire city. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Because I mean it will be a factor, won't it? Yeah. You know, nowadays absolutely. In, in architecture, environmental uh, footprint is um yeah it's always i also wonder if we should do some insulation there that you can build yeah so, right i wonder if because you lose a lot of heat at the edges right you can see that even at these edges here heat is yeah. escaping um and that can be very problematic like this row of cells here for example they're the worst case because of course they've got windows as well which makes them even yeah, worse yeah. so they've yeah. got outward facing windows which previously made your prisoners happy because they got a nice view right? yeah well now they also makes it cold all right so Maybe you need to be able to build a row of insulation around the edge to stop the bleed of heat, you know, out. Yeah, yeah. Maybe that row of insulation is less strong than the brick that it replaces. Yes, maybe. So they can yeah, travel exactly. under it easier or something. Maybe it's a fire risk or something. Yeah, that's an interesting idea. Um, yeah, and so there's two sides to it, really. There's the side of prisoners overheating and getting angry and punching each other, and the yeah. other side of the prisoners um, needing to be kept warm in order to not have their needs in a more subtle subtle way round, but still ultimately leads to trouble in your prison yeah um, and i think definitely the beginning of several possible other add-ons to the, to this general model fantastic nice fantastic that's really good. um really good that's our features excellent excellent well that's it from us uh in february 2016 update four mm. or update 40 depending on how you uh <laughs> how you how you count it um go and tell everybody about prison architect on the consoles and we will see you in one month's time mark and chris out <laughs>